that's um, what I'm mostly decorating with today is um, fabric and I have not done this before so it's new for me I think it'll work I think it'll work but it's gonna be brand new yeah I love fabric I say that all the time that that is what I love the most is fabric I love getting inspiration from fabric I love pulling colors from fabric even if I don't necessarily use a fabric in a process um, that I'm doing I still love using fabric okay so um, I've got several hats here now you can get them cheaper probably any any store I know Walmart has them probably for like five dollars um, these were Hobby Lobby hats I love the torn look on them I, I just love that I have like I, said, I wear baseball hats on here all the time whenever I have a bad hair day which is almost all the time I wear hats so I have a couple of them these two I'm debating on using this one versus um, this one and you'll see when I choose the, the fabric for it I also am going to be using this beautiful teal one and again these were all Hobby Lobby um, and I know you can get them on sale sometimes I didn't get them on sale they were they were full price but it is what it is so we're gonna be decorating them up all right so if you were on last week with me I went to um, uh, St. Vinny's a uh, secondhand store and I had gotten this fabric and I and I wanted to use it so bad it looks so vintage isn't it gorgeous look at the little pink in there the little yellow I wanted to use it and so I washed it and dried it and so that's what we're using today so besides using this we're also going to use this on a hat I'm doing two different hats we're using this also all right and i'll show you ideas i mean you can the it really is the sky the limit on this you can do whatever you want whatever shapes whatever whatever floats your boat all right just do just do you okay um so what we do with this and i already have some cut out but i'll just show you i cut out a basic leaf shape is all i did um or a petal shape I'm not actually going to put leaves on these. You could do that too. I was going to paint on hats and I thought, you know, not everybody feels comfortable painting. I will still do that sometime. Not everybody feels comfortable painting. I wanted to do it this way because anybody can use fabric, right? Anybody can use fabric. Isn't it beautiful, Jermaine? Oh, I love this fabric. So I've already got them cut out, but I'll just show you. I laid it on here. and I'm, it's easier for me again on here just to cut it a little bigger otherwise i really try and conserve every little spot i got just lay it on and you want them the, for the one i'm doing you want them all the same size okay or approximately the same size but again you can do whatever you want you can do layers um i'm not going to layer but and all I'm gonna do and I'm using six of them so actually I think I have seven now we'll see so that's all there is for that now the second one let me show you because I'll I'll do them all together we're mod podging today all right um, I've never done that on hats before I, I have no idea why it wouldn't work so um, I'm just looking at make sure I have everything I need here I have no idea why it wouldn't work so that's what we're doing so the second one I said I'm using this fabric I cut out parts that I liked oh and I actually want to cut out there's something else I wanted to cut out let's get to a part that I was cutting so look at what I cut out so that's going on a hat but there were some real little ones oh that's gonna cut up into here but I'm okay with that Um, now this also has like a little gold tone on it but I want to get up in to these little there's little teal flowers here I'm gonna try and cut around and I'm not sure if I'm gonna use just the flower or if I'm gonna use the little leaf that's around it too 
So we'll figure that out as we go. We'll lay it on with it. And so that's two, but I also then there's a little one that I bypassed here. It's a little taupe color one. So I've got two teal and taupe. And we'll see how we use them. So both, let me just say that one fabric is from a second hand. It's from St. Vincent de Paul. Um, the other fabric is, I'm thinking Hobby Lobby. I've had it a long time. If it's not Hobby Lobby, it would be Joann's. Um, but find a fabric that you love. And if you're going to be cutting out shapes out of certain fabrics that you that are already within the fabric, find something maybe a little bit bigger um, so that you have sort of pattern. You can do this with sunflowers. So, okay, I've got the little taupe one and I'm gonna cut out a little bit of around this these are two teal ones so i'm not sure if i'm going to leave them on this stem can you hear i have my door open i do that during the winter when we have our wood stove going but yesterday we had our first day that felt like summer it was 64 or 65 degrees beautiful sunny and it's that again today so we have a baseball game again tonight it sure beats sitting out in the snow and the sleet like we did and the cold and the wind that we did the last few games so it sure beats that so it's gonna be a gorgeous night to watch baseball i think by wednesday they're actually talking close to 80 which is crazy again we've had such crazy weather All right, i'm just cutting around a little bit now you don't have to do perfect Get it in everywhere. That little bit of brown is actually be sort of cute on there. Can you see that? Thanks for all those hearts. Those hearts are so big also for us. I sure appreciate them. That just lets Facebook know that we're out there and people are liking what I do and that maybe they'll show me to more people. Okay, that's really, really big. All right, so this is a vintage look hat from Hobby Lobby. Like spring is hitting here in Wyoming. I found a random fly in my house. You found a fly? We had, okay, so yesterday was the first day. It was nice. And we did Easter outside. It was beautiful. We had the Easter egg hunt for the grandkids. And um, we sat outside most of the while. It started getting cool. Once the sun starts going down a little bit, it starts getting cool. But we had bees out already. The first time it got warm and we, the bees were going crazy. And my one granddaughter so paranoid because she did get stung last year and she ended up in the ER. Um, so I don't blame her for being paranoid. So, um, yeah. So look at how we're going to, let's see. Just trying to figure out. We're going to lay it up like this, I think. Because I have more that I'm going to put on here besides this fabric. All right. We're going to have that on there like that. Wait till you see what I'm putting on it. Wait till you see. Wait till you see. Um, okay. And I just want to see now if you're going to be, at, of course, I'm adding buttons, right? If you're going to be adding buttons, you're going to want to make sure you're not by this brim where you would be planning on adding your buttons. And I plan on adding a button here and a button here. I have something to add there. So I just think if I add this here and maybe like that, that would be really cute. Or maybe bring this down like this and put that right next to it. We could do something on that order too. Um, I'm just seeing, or if that'll be too much. do something like that too I don't I don't know that almost takes away from it doesn't it do you like that over there I don't know that I like that we could just put one we could just put one I might like that 
Isn't it going to be beautiful? And wait till you see the other one with that other fabric. We're going to be, I'm going to get everything all cut out and laid on there so you can see it. And then we'll start Mod Podging it on. Grass snakes. Ew, Debbie. I don't want to see them. That isn't so bad though either, doing doing that. Jermaine, where are you from that you're covered from snow? I'm just trying to see what... I don't want to take away from this look. That actually isn't too bad like that, is it? Yeah, I think we might do that. I'm not sure that I'll add if I do. Let's see. You know, that isn't so bad. That isn't so bad if I do something on that order. Okay, should we do that? Oh, this flower, you'll have to watch the replay of how you did the flower. I had to go and take my laundry. The flower. I didn't do the flower. I didn't do the flower. I didn't do it. Um, it wasn't working the way I wanted with that other fabric. So I'm doing a different kind of flower. Right now I'm going to do it. All right. So yeah, I think we'll do that. The cute. So I'm just going to set that aside so we'll be ready for the Mod Podge. Now the other one I'm debating, you guys can help me decide. We're either going to put it on this sort of bluish gray. I love either of these colors. E either of the colors. Each one will give it a completely different look. Or the other one is going to be on white. So you guys sort of give me your idea of what, what you think you, you would like. Two total different looks. So I'm using these petals we just cut out. Let me put some on each one so that you can see and compare. I'm also going to use a piece of lace. And I'll show you how I'm going to use the lace. And I'm going to use the button. Um, the lace is, is well, I guess it does add to it, so on whether or not we're going to do that on here. So let me show you again, because I'm going to put a button on here. I was going to say, why is that so hard? It's got cardboard in it. <laughs> because I'm going to put a button on here, I want to make sure where I'm putting the button, which is the center, I want to make sure that that's in there. I also want to make sure that I don't want to have to cut off any of the petals. So this is going to go something on this order. Okay, and then these will go up like this. I can put four on because I got three for the other one. So we can either do on this, and then we're going to have like a little bit of lace in here, and we're going to have a button on here. Okay, so we can either do it on this hat, or we could do it on the white hat. So you guys start telling me your opinion. These hats were Hobby Lobby. I know you can get hats from um, Walmart and that, but I don't know if they're like this vintage kind of look, the tour kind of look that I love. Um, most of my hats are that. So the other one would be on the white. I really love this fabric on the white. So that would be the other. Again, it would this this would be the look with the white so should i put it on the white or you can say blue should i put it on the white or the blue tour i really think it i like the white what do you think let me let me know all right the white or the blue either one would look cute i actually have a gray one too like a gray baseball this would look really cute on gray also Oh gosh, Jermaine, white looks good on a dark hat. If you're using the lace, it shows up better with the dark. Although the lace is going to be on top of the blue. So you're going to see that and you're going to, and there's going to be a button. Okay, I got mostly whites. That's what I'm going to do. I do have, like I said, I have a light gray that this would be beautiful. Let me just grab that quick. I have several hats here. It honestly would be sort of pretty. I think it's too stark on the blue. It would be really, really cute on this gray also. I think I lost one line. It would be really, really cute on the gray also. 
and then um, I don't know where my lease went. Oh, I probably dropped it somewhere. But that would be really cute too. But I think we're going to go with white. Okay, should we do the white? Yeah, they're both honestly cute. Um, yeah, and I also have like a baseball style. These were cheaper at, at Hobby Lobby. These were four something, four ninety nine. The other ones were seven ninety nine. So they, they are more. So this, but just think you could cut out baseballs. You could cut out whatever and have fun with them. All right. Okay. So let's do the white. And I'm going to just lay that so that again, I can see where I'm going with it. I'm just making sure they okay now I'm all right I know I had two extra two extra cut out and now I'm down there down on the floor or I had one extra I just knew that I had them okay let's do that we're gonna put this blue one in between here. It's a little more blue. So we're gonna have it like that on there. Okay. Now you could do leaves if you want. I did play with leaves a little bit and I didn't care for them. Um, it might be with a certain fabric and maybe that I had to cut these petals a little smaller, but I like the size petal um, and it'll just, it'll just be fun. Just debating, do I shift it? I want to make sure I get it in the right place because I'm going to Mod Podge these leaves one at a time. I think we'll do that. We want to make sure that one is up like that. There, we'll have it over on the side more. And that's all going to be laying down. And you know what I, I meant to do? I was going to rough up these edges too, but I don't know that that'll be necessary. That may not be necessary. You could rough up the edges if you want to. All right, I just want to see, do I need another one in here? You know, I could add one more. Could add that extra one in there. Put that in there. Yeah. Okay. So let's get the Mod Podge out. And again, I've never done the Mod Podge on hats before. We're going to see how it goes. That could be fun. Yeah, I think it will be too. You look like a dork in one. I'm sure you don't. I'm sure you don't. All right, let's get this out of the way. So I'm going to probably gradually fold this up because I'm not going to put any Mod Podge right on the hat. I'm only going to do it on the petals. So I'm gonna lay that here. Um, I think I'll take these off and I'll do one at a time up here just so that I can see. Now you could probably leave some of it sticking up, but at, if you do that, it may be that it would curl and you don't want it to curl. All right, I'll just make sure, okay. Let's get, so I'm using the Fabric Mod Podge. First time I use that also. Get the cover off, or else I'll be cutting it. the lace will show up more with all the leaves. So you're saying, yes, I should have the extra leaf. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, and I can do a little bit bigger lace. I'm gonna play with it just a little bit because that's being sewn on, all right? So I'm just gonna take, so I'm gonna do it one at a time. 
just gonna take in I'm doing it on wax paper I'm gonna just start at an edge so I can keep folding it let's move over here move over and I want to get a nice even layer on all the way to the edges so that's why I want to make sure I'm doing it on this wax paper you could probably use tin foil whatever you got that's cheap put a good layer on it you probably don't want any clumps though I'm gonna lay that where we want it just pat that on good Really push that on good to make sure that it's going to adhere on there. Like I said I'm not going to put any at the on the top. I don't think. We'll see. I may end up changing my mind. Because I haven't done it before. Like I said, I haven't done it before. You've never done it before either? Yeah, I knew they had fabric Mod Podge. I just always used regular Mod Podge. But seeing they have actual fabric Mod Podge, I decided I was going to go for it and, and get it because I could use it more. And actually, it's on sale right now at Hobby Lobby. Otherwise, you can get it at Walmart if they have a craft department. Again, just make sure you get a good amount all the way up to the, all the edges. one at a time like this make sure those edges stay down I see it got a little on there but that's you're not gonna see that because it'll dry clear you know, I do think I almost feel like I will end up possibly needing to put some on top maybe if I just do a little on the edges let's just try a little on the edges I don't want it to come up. Whew, I'm getting hot here. I never know how to dress when I do these. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm okay doing the edges. I think I, I think I feel comfortable that that's what I'm going to do I don't always like using Mod Podge like on top of paper and stuff because you do see it I, I mean you can say it dries clear but you see it I think this will work out just fine I want to make sure that edges stay down that's all right Gloria I'm glad you're here hello all right, let's do another. Oops, make sure you do the right side of it. I hope as I'm putting these on, it'll space out the way I need it to. I'm anxious to do that teal one also. Very anxious because I think that one's going to be beautiful. could use like wax paper or something to push that down too or saran wrap yeah I think I'm just really comfortable putting that layer around the edges to make sure that that doesn't peel up now the other option now say do this do patches with this if you do a patch I would really rough up the edges and just do like most of it and leave those edges rough. That would be cute too. Then you, then I would not do around these edges. How cute that's looking. Is that a ponytail? It is a ponytail slit in the back of the hat. 
but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's going to be really cute. I have some other hats. I have a winter hat that has a ponytail slit in. If it's a cute hat, I'll wear it. Bottom line, I'll wear it. It has to be cute. You may not think it's cute, but uh, if I think it's cute, I'm wearing it. Like that. I'll probably lay the other ones on here then just as it's just to feel it out. Um, I think it's a good idea just to press that on. You could use a baggie. Seems to be staying on really well. It's not like the first time, first time, maybe a charm. Let's make sure there's no clumps left when you're doing it. I love this fabric because I'm so glad I saw it at that thrift store. All right, if we lay that here, I just want to see how I'm doing on space. That there, oh, it'll be perfect. Perfect. It's going to be gorgeous, gorgeous. Thank you, Judy. I think it is too. I think the other one too, the teal one that I've got here that I'll Mod Podge on, I'll Mod Podge it before I finish embellishing this one. Um, that one is going to be gorgeous too. All right, now we're going to be dropping down onto this other part. I want to make sure it gets along in that edge so that there's not a gap there. All right, because we've got that edge. I just don't want a gap. here really get that edge good too in that little little gully of the hat there what did you all do this weekend we can talk while we're doing that we had the busiest weekend we have had in so long but it was so much fun we had um well, fr Good Friday, we went to church, so that was two hours. Then I did my grocery shopping, which I normally do Saturday. Then we went to a retirement Easter party at um, my brother and sister-in-law. So we saw a bunch of family there. Then we had a wedding. So do you remember, some of you might remember, I used to share her posts. And, and I did recently again, not that long ago, she always painted the most beautiful things. But her name is Terry, and she used to be from the Red Mitten is what she always had. And she changed her name of her page to the little art com or the art company is something on there. I have to look again what it is. But she got married this weekend, so we had so much fun there. That was fun to be there. And then we had Easter. We went to go by my mom, to go visit her on Easter. And then we had the kids over here, Easter egg hunt. And we just had like, like ham sandwiches for supper and 
fruit and I made smashed potatoes and um, it, it was just it was so nice just a nice busy weekend but now we're ready for the week right again really push that into that little gully there down the rest. One more to put on. Look at how cute that is. Loving it, loving it. I can't wait to wear it. Maybe I'll make some of these and put them in my Etsy shop. Or I could do an auction on them. I've never done an auction. I think the one night Terry from um, the Robin's Nest was on and she started an auction on what I was making. <laughs> it was so sweet. All right, one more on here and then we're going to Mod Podge the other one. If you came on late, wait till you see the other one. It's gorgeous. Hello, Sherry. Thank you. Thank you. The other idea, if you don't find fabric that you like with this, you know, you could stencil on, but you would need to stencil on like with a permanent ink. Okay. Or you could stamp on it too. But you, again, you have to do a permanent ink so that it wouldn't smear when you're using it. But yeah, if you hopped on late, I've got already cut out for the other one too. I'm making two hats. The other one is all cut out, ready to go. We're going to Mod Podge that on right away too. To know just a little bit because I want I don't want to cut any of that petal off. I said I was if I my plan was to paint on these, and then after I thought about it, I thought a lot of people are intimidated by painting, and this is something that anybody can do anybody all right anybody can really paint to you you have to practice it but um some people have a lot more talent than others i tell you like i said my friend terry she's an amazing artist um but i do it just to have fun it's not always proper painting but i do it to have fun all right okay so that's where we are so far with that one let me grab this one. So if you came on late, I need to get some of this Mod Podge off. Have you ever used napkins before? I have not used nap. Oh, napkins on material. I have for gift tags. I have for gift tags. And I, I've used it on material on like duck cloth. And I've used it on burlap. So I have done them on there with Mod Podge. And I really poked them in and it really should, it, it like ingrained itself in the fabric all right so this is what we're coming up with this one and then we're going to add that other little embellishment with it so i cut this out if you came on late this one that one i cut out just all the pieces this one i just cut out what i liked on here i cut around parts of what i liked and we got that so let's get this all mod podged up and then I have a couple little ones that I also cut out that I'm putting on the opposite side now this does have wrinkling but it won't matter the mod podge will lay it down but you might have to work a little quickly when it's a bigger piece like this so that it you don't end up um, drying before it gets on the hat that won't be good but just make sure you're getting all the edges and you don't want any big clumps because you'll see that on the hat so spread that out good I'm gonna go touch this back up up here Hold that so we don't get that on anything. Lay that down. Okay, 
do that up. Okay. So I want to make sure again that that gets down in that little gully of the hat. I don't know what you call it. The little seam there. And then just start working. Get that pushed in there really well. Start working from that middle out. I've never Mod Podge on hats before. I told you that if you came in earlier. I'm loving how it's going. <laughs> I love this look. Okay, if that's too loud, you gotta let me know. It sounds like his leaf blower is going. Our neighbor's been going crazy, I'm sure, in the house all winter. He's retired. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. One of a kind, absolutely, absolutely one of a kind. Okay, I am going to go around the edges again. Now that'll dry. I just want to make sure they stay down. I don't, I really don't want it on the whole thing. I'm just putting on the edges. If I decide at some point I need it on the whole hat, I would do it. But for right now, I just want to do the edges. So I don't want to see that sheen, complete sheen of Mod Podge, which I don't know. I've never used a fabric Mod Podge before. I don't know what it'll look like. Really get it down in that little area here, that seam. Teal is your favorite color. Isn't it beautiful? I just love it. Like I said, I think this fabric I got probably last year think at Hobby Lobby, possibly, um, possibly Joann's, but find the fabric you think is, that you love that's beautiful that you can cut out that would match on what you want. There's so much fabric out there that you can make so, one of a kind hat and nobody else will have one like that. Okay, find one that you love. But I'd recommend, like I said earlier, is make sure if you're going to cut out parts of the fabric, make sure you have a little bit bigger design like this that you can cut around. Okay, I am really comfortable that I did this around the edges because I really felt when I get around to this edge over here, I really think it needed it. So, so if I feel I need to do it on the whole hat, I will. But I don't think I do. It'll dry. Just make sure you don't have any clumps in places. Yeah, where it's drying, you really don't see it. Okay, so then the other one we decided we were going to put something like this. Oh, I may end up having to close that. I'm going to put it something like that, I think. That also was cut out of the fabric. Now let's put this one on right away and then we'll seal the edges and then we're done with the Mod Podge. Then we're going to do some embellishing. I'm going to get up and close my door, unfortunately. 
It's pretty loud. These flowers are just fabric. They're just fabric. I cut out. I cut them out of fabric. And the other hat, it I cut petals out of fabric. Just that is not this. I cut around a pattern. That I just cut petals. It was no specific pattern. Okay, this one I ended up getting it more because it's so little of a piece. It really ended up getting everywhere, but. Just want to make sure it's going to stay on. Okay. Cute, cute, cute. I'm done with the Mod Podge. We're going to shut out after. So I use the fabric Mod Podge, is what I use. It's on sale this week at Hobby Lobby. You love the wind chimes? I do too. I have to have wind chimes. All right, got that. Okay. We're done with this. We're done with this. So this was the first half that we did. It should be good and good dry. I do want to dry it though. And we're going to, because we are going to embellish it, and I need to sew on it. And just, I don't want to get all that Mod Podge on the needle, because then it won't go through there good. So we do need to dry it up. This is a really, really huge. Now you could just cut out a center and Mod Podge it on also, but... I want to do the button and the lace to make it really cute. You can even put like patches in different places, um, like of this, or little flowers, like cut little circles in places of, of this fabric too. So that center is what is really important to me to have dry. I know heat doesn't always do that though. You keep it away and just get the air. We're going to just go with it, I think. All right, this one won't be as bad. I think we're going to let this one dry a little bit more. We're going to do this one because what I'm putting on here isn't the buttons I'm adding on here and the embellishment isn't on top of where I have Mod Podge. So we're going to let this dry a little bit more. Now, another idea, so I said I'd give you other ideas. Another idea is just use buttons. Um, these buttons came from Linda, uh, one of my followers. Look at, I showed these last week. I think I got them from her. I mean, it would be so cute just to decorate up a hat. Sew buttons in places on a hat. You could do that. Or there were these little like daisy and different colored daisies that you could do. Uh, that would be so cute to decorate on hats too. So, all right. So what I'm using though... Wow, that Mod Podge is on me. Is this is just a strip of trim I got from Hobby Lobby. We're gonna use one of these. It's just on ribbon. And this is going to be I've got fabric tack here and I've got hot glue. So I think we'll do both the hot glue, just a dab of it. Most of it will be fabric tap a good amount of it I'll trim that off but it's kind of cute so this is what I plan on putting because you really won't get through the cardboard with the needle or it would be very tough I'm gonna put this down on here and just to add a little 3d kind of look or is that too much 
See, I thought I'd put that there. And then I picked out the buttons already I want to use. Now these, again, I got buttons from other people and I bought some at estate sales. I'm not sure where these were from, but I've got this one that looks real vintage and this one that looks real vintage and they just work perfectly with this. And because it has the gold trim on the hat, I think it'll work perfect. So we'll do that and this. Oh, I don't know that I like that with that one. Let's put this gold one on first. That might be a little big. Hmm. All right, let's put this gold one on first, and we're going to sew it on. Of course, I'm going to put buttons, put a white button in the center of the flower of the hat. I am putting a button in there. I am. But we're going to put the lace first. Totally dazzled would be totally pretty on there too. All right, I just want to find a needle that I know I'm going to get through the hat and I'm going to get my string through because I'm going to use embroidery floss. I know I have one in here that works really good for that. It just has to have a bigger eye, but it has to have a pointy head to it. That one so looks like a good one. Oh, there's a good one. It's probably the same as those. Oh, this one. Okay. That one has a real nice point to it. So I know I'll get through that hat. Hello, Susan. All right, and then I've got embroidery thread that I'm just going to, now this embroidery thread, you're not gonna see, um, you're not gonna see for sewing this one on or that one. I think we still will go with this. Just in case I find another button, um, another type of button. We'll go with this and I don't have to thread this twice. Thank you. Oh, it's okay that you're late, Susan. I plan on taking my Easter down like in the next day or two. Also, I have the tub already. I actually was really late putting a lot of my Easter stuff up. So then I got it up before the grandkids came. <laughs> That's so bad. All right. This is really a cute button too. That, I showed you guys those buttons. They're adorable. All right. So I'm going to just bring it up through this hat. Oh, and I'm right on a seam. So it is going to be a, a little harder to get it through. I've got a players here that might have to grab it. Linda, yes, you sent me that bag of daisy buttons. You sent me these bags of white buttons. You sent me butterflies. You really blessed me. And then she also sent stamping stuff for my granddaughter, some stamps and uh, die cuts and she said I could share with my granddaughters they were just when I told them that because when I sent them home I said I'm home with a die cut machine that I had an extra one but not much else so they could cut the die cuts and put them on cards but so then I went through and I said okay you can each pick a um, stamp pad yesterday and then I had a black one too besides but they could each pick a color that they liked I already knew what colors they would pick because that's what they were favoring when they were playing with the stamps that day um they were just beside themselves when they their eyes just lit when they saw the whole stamp set so Oh, that didn't go all the way through oh, there look at how cute that's going to be on there all right so again 
Um, where you place things is really important. You probably could have done better placing than I did because I've got this part right on a seam so it's a little thicker. Don't put a part where you want to sew on, um, on the cardboard because that you probably won't get through. So I'm just going to put a couple stitches here to hold this on in place. Really? Once I get it going, then I can get it through. Look at how cute. I normally don't sew my buttons. I usually glue them. All right, let's just go through one more time. Make sure I got a good, good cut. Actually, I'm folding this around. It's staying down. There's one spot I might have to add a little more to, but it's staying down good as it's drying. Yeah. Did you put the fabric on the hat? Yes, I used um, Fabric Mod Podge. When I cut the fabric, out of just a piece of material this was like a whole piece and the other hat was i just cut petal shapes okay now i'm just knotting this off in here so i just run it through one of the stitches and then leave that loop and then when i go through the needle take the needle through that loop and i do that several times so i'm just putting that through that loop now and that knots it off. Okay, so we got that one on there. That's really cute. Um, the one I, did, I was going to do, but that might be a little big. Now that I look at it, that might be a little big, but it's so vintage looking. I love that. Let me see what else I got that would look cute with that. could do another gold. I could do another gold. Should I do another gold one? You want to do that on a t-shirt? Oh, apps. The only thing is you have to, it, I believe it gets permanent, but there's probably instructions on doing it on a t-shirt for washing. See a hat you won't wash. I think we'll do this other gold one. Give me hearts if you think I should just do this gold. I think so. I think that the teal would have been so pretty, but I think it's just too big. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do this other gold one. Now, you could also, if you don't feel like sewing it, you could also um, glue it on, but use more of a permanent glue. Okay. So if I would glue it on, I could put that one there and put this down here. The jury's still out on that, but I do like the 3D look. Okay. You can be letting me know if you love that. All right, so let's do, sew this one on. And then we just have to sew on lace and a button on here. And that's all with one, all with one stitch. Do you, do you, did you hear that car? People are crazy now and we're pretty far off the road. Um, but do you like that on there? You guys tell me. All right, so there is a, little lip in here that I need to fold down to get to where I'm going to sew it, but it's going to be easier to sew this part, I thought, because I'm not on the seam. So placement is a big part of it. Okay, let's just put that on there. Good 
no to the 3D flower. I'm almost debating, it's almost would take too much out of it, wouldn't it? Oh gosh, I think I have a knot. Nope. I could maybe find a little button to put there and then, but that would have to be a glued button. Like I said, because it's on that cardboard, I am not going to get a needle through that cardboard. Are you guys hearing me okay with all the noise outside? I mean, he's actually a little bit farther away, but, you know, I, I don't want to close my door, but if I have to, I will. Thank you for the heart, Sharon. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm glad I chose that. But I do feel like I need something here. I do feel like I have to glue something there. And I've got, like I said, I've got the fabric tack here and hot glue. So I would do both just to make sure it'll be the quick stick and it'll hold in place. So I do feel like I need something there. Sound is good. All right. I love the buttons, but I think that, yeah, I think the 3D flower, I think it's too bright. I think it's too bright. You're not hearing them? Okay. Well, that's good. I hear them. That's good. I said it's, it's when it's nice out and he was retired. I know he loves yard work and he's got a huge area down there and so when it's nice, he's going to get it out there. I don't blame him. We want to be out there. Okay, let's put this on yet. All right. So that's that one. I, like I said, I do feel like I need a little something here, but I'll do it with glue. All right, I've got that flipped up. Now I'm just knotting underneath here. Hard to see even the stitches that I made in here. And I know you can't see what I'm doing. I apologize. You're not going to see because it's so up underneath the stitches there where I'm doing this. I'm just knotting that string off in there so I can cut it and it's not going to go anywhere. And I'm just catching the string that I already had down there. Or you can honestly catch a little of the fabric on that lip that's coming, that's in here or coming up, either one. Okay. Another month of snow will be gone <laughs> and outside fun. Oh, another month, Kathy. Well, we usually get a big snowstorm in April, yeah, but our March was terrible. We had so much snow and cold and sleet, and it our month of March was that way. Right, that's really, really cute. Do you see the see the buttons? Do you like the buttons on there? Give me some hearts if you like the buttons. You don't like the yard work? Gloria, I think I'm with you. I'd rather be sitting in a chair. You like that? You like the buttons? All right. So let me just feel if I find something that will work there. I have a lot of gold. But it has to also be um, the right kind of gold. I don't want to anchor. That won't look good. Let me just bring that up here. Oh, this one would be pretty on here. Let's. I've got a couple here. One might almost be too much yeah that has black in it let me just see about this one but yeah you know what I may end up just doing those two um, let 
I'll just bring it up one more time. A lot, like I said, a lot of these kind of vintage look buttons. That's something different. That's a little big. That would have been really cute on one of them too. It's like a fabric one. But I may end up, the other option could be, let me see what this one looks like. Oh, that would be sort of cute down there. What do you think of that one? I like that one down there. You like it the way it is? Do you like, so look at what the color is of it. I just feel because of the threes that I should add one. Let me just lay that on there. Do you like, what if I do it right at that tip of that curl? Oh, I don't know. I think you're almost right. Maybe like that. Okay. Um, it does go with it. But whether or not I like it on there, I don't know. What do you think? No? Yeah, I think we're going to stick with the two. I think this hat is done. The only other option would be is, yeah, and that one really doesn't go now that I have it out and pulled. The only other option would be is I could put, a little one over here. I could put this one over here, but I'm not sure. I don't think I like it. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. Yeah, that would be the other option is to do something like that, but I don't even know. That takes away. All right, this one's done. How do you like it? I love it. I love it. <laughs> All right, let's do the other one. Let's finish the other one. Should we put that on? I love that. All right, let's do this other one. Okay, we're gonna need some string again. Oh, the only thing is this one, I think I need white string because you're gonna see this. You're gonna see it. So I just have this little piece of lace that I figure I'm going to jumble up. Maybe we'll see a little bit bigger. So I got this, oh, there goes a hat. Oh, that was a hat I wanted to show you too. So I got this lace at Hobby Lobby and cut it a little bit bigger. You can take it from pieces that you have. I just wanted something I felt was a little finished on the edges like this. Thank you, Gloria. I love it. I love it. So I might make some of these in my Etsy shop. This, this one may end up in there. Okay, so we're going to, I want that a little bit bigger in there. Um, I just want to see this. I don't think I like, I don't like, think I like it on here either. This has a, this will have a place somewhere. Oh, but that actually, no, it'll be lost in there. You won't see it. We're going to put the button I'm going to use is this handmade with love. We're going to bundle this up. We're going to put that on there. I don't want something so bright that it's going to take away from everything else on here, but I think I need a, something a little bit bigger and that's where we're going to go with it. This has a place on something, something somewhere it's going to go, but I don't know what. All right, but I do need white now. Shoot, it's warm. Do you have any total, do I have, no, I don't have any total dazzle pieces. I do have pieces, you know, and that's the other thing is maybe on this hat, I do have pieces, oh, that's too much, that do look like a totally dazzled. But, I 
where they would go, I don't know. I don't think I like silver on there. I really don't like the silver on there. I don't like that. I don't like that. With a butterfly. I know I have some that look like totally dazzled. They're just not totally dazzled. I actually think, Sherry, are you out there yet? Are you totally dazzled? I have a friend that's totally dazzled too. I told her I would go out. Yeah, I think we're gonna stick with what I what I planned. This actually would be a little bit cute. But yeah, you can bling it up whatever way you want. I'm not seeing and I don't want to dig any farther. I'm just gonna look around. Not for sure what totally dazzled. Totally dazzled is um, like almost like buttons or gems. Um, they can be buttons or gems. Wait, here, this would be something like a totally dazzled. Oh, this will be cute on there though. It's something that's beaded up with. That might be cute on there. That might be a little small. I know I had some in here too that look more of a vintage. If you have old jewelry, which I know I have, oh, I just saw a bag yesterday. Um, that was my mom's and my grandma's. Let me go look at that. Just grab it. I knew I saw it somewhere. Oh, this isn't even my mom's and grandma's. That must be downstairs. This is my old stuff. Let me just see if there's something in there. No, there's not. No. We're going to go with a button. That way we can get done. I know I have a bunch of my mom's old jewelry downstairs. Some of it I would use, but yeah, I'm not seeing anything on there. Okay, this one, let's just see. just cute on there all right so you're gonna see it better once I get my fingers out of the way let me just see the only thing is this is not a totally dazzled it is a button um, I don't know the quality of how well those beads will be but I guess we could always cut them up so we've got that on there if I can get my fingers out of the way. Let me get this white strung on here and I can just put a, a string around it and you'll be able to see and see if that's what we're going to use. You missed most of it, Paula? I don't know that you missed most of it. I'm back to, I did finish the one hat. I finished this hat. Do you see the buttons on there? Aren't those cute? Yeah, I finished this hat. So now I'm just finishing the other hat. All right, so I am going to just put a stitch through here. Just gather it a little. So I'm just doing a running stitch through here, just putting it in and out and in and out and in and out and in and out. And that will gather that up. Okay. So we could put in, I still think, feel like I need something bigger than this. If this was bigger, I would use this. I just feel I need something bigger than that. I sort of like that gray, but I do feel this handmade with love um, may be it. 
let's just put this on and I'll pull it through I'm just really grabbing that lace to keep it behind there. Pulling that in there. Yeah, I'm going to stick with this one because it's what I have. So you can see how I've got that on there. Let me just lay this on here now so you'll be able to see what that's going to look like. You like that on there? I was just looking if there was another option. Let me know if you like that. The other option would be a big white button. Yeah, the other option would be a big white button. I don't know if I have anything white, white. There's a piece of lace. It has to be big enough. There's something down here. Oh, that's sort of cute. Just a plain white button like that. have this one it has that little bit of white on it and let's because this will go over the, this you won't see it so we've got that one that's a bigger one yeah I almost feel like it could support a bigger one what do you think so we would either do that one or that one this white one too I think is just too small yet or would be that well it, that'd be sort of cute too. That's sort of like your off-white like these flowers are. The wood button looks the best with the daisies. They are simple and so the big one, you're saying this big one. Let's see, you can see that. I think, yeah, it could support that big one and it has that little white stitching through it. You like the big one too? Yeah. Okay, let's get that. Oh, my needle fell out, which is good because then I can get this undone. It's hot in here. I don't need that. It's hot. My hair are bad, but. Just look at what time. This was a long live. Like my embellishments, my buttons were throwing me here. One more string to get out of here. There we go. Okay. I'll gather the lace in a circle. Then I, I would need a longer strip of lace. I would need a longer strip of lace, but that would be that would be really oh that would be really cute too. That would be really cute too. I think I'm gonna, yeah, that would be really cute too. I think I'm gonna just do it as the as the bow though. I think I'm just gonna do it as the bow. But yeah, the lace would be cute in a circle too. All right, so let me just bring this back up through here. Put it down through here. I don't wanna take any more of your time today. I 
and that's what it's going to end up looking like on there. So I'm just going to take a couple stitches first on here. Pull that down and then we're going to pull that down through the middle here. what it's going to look like. Cute. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Mm. Try it now when you have buttons like this, you have to try and find that other hole over there. Let's pull it up through here. through that hole there. Oh, I love that. I love that. And you can space that out a little bit if you want. Put that top through. Look at how cute that is. Now, if you use lace like from a tablecloth or something, which I had debated on using, I mean, then it would look a little more rustic, which is fine. Okay, I just want to bring it through one more time. So it's easier. Bring it up so you can see that needle, and then there you go. Oh, perfect half for summer. All right, bring it back down through and then we're going to knot it off and this half is going to be done too. So again, the placement of things for ease of sewing, like this one was actually very easy to sew. It wasn't on a seam. Um, that's really important that you look and even if you plan on doing something on the brim then you and would end up having to glue it because you've got that cardboard you don't want to try and force it through that cardboard but let's just play with this a little bit you know what I need to put a little tack of glue behind here Because the lace is actually a little bit cut there. So we'll just tack a little bit behind there. Look at how cute that is. Look at how cute that one is too. See that one? It is like one of a kind hats. You can make your own one of a kind hats with whatever you have. So this is the first one. Love it. Well, it actually ends up to be the second <laughs> the hot glue. So, got that. Which do you like better? So, which is your favorite? And not just on me, because sometimes hats can look dorky on me too. But there's that one with the buttons. But they're like one of a kind of hats that's so easy with the fabric mod podge. Right. Both hats, both. Yeah. I think, I don't know. I think this is my favorite. It depends what you wear it with. It really depends. I love teal anyhow. Um, I do love teal anyhow, but I do think I love this one too. And you know, you could add if you wanted, um, you could add another piece of the fabric like just take a couple little circles let me just show you that's another thought I have okay so just to jazz it up a little bit you could cut a couple little circles out of the fabric you know like your polka dots and put them in a couple places. I 
I have the heebie-jeebies right now. I need to get a drink. Let's cut that. So just add a few little polka dots in places too, just to make it, okay, I really, really like those polka dots on there. You couldn't choose between them. Yeah, so Paula, go back and get them. Go back. I love those polka dots. So we're going to end up, I'm going to mod pie. I won't do that right now until while, while you're on. But I'm going to add a few of those little, I love adding just those little polka dots. So I'm going to add a few of them. You could even put them around the back in a couple of places um just to make it make it work but look at how much i really worked with that needle and thread and they're still on so that fabric mod podge is really cool so you could even add a few more flowers like around the back of this one too just to make it really different and that would just be really really cute so Ginny, and i'm just ending Ginny. The white one you would you can wear more white it depends what you what colors you wear yeah it depends what colors you wear but again uh, you know grab whatever fabric so if you like this was another one and i threw the hat down on the ground over here let me just grab it um if you like sunflowers or you like other kind so you can get out yellow fabrics like i said you could just sew buttons on them but say you have a hat like this you could layer these petals too. Whoops, I can't talk down on them. Put the petals on. Let's just, I won't put it all the way in a circle so that I can show you the layer. But you could layer them. Now I threw it around. But you get what I mean. You could definitely layer them up and then do like a dark brown oh now this is the one that this center could be if you make them bigger that center would be really good you know what you could just do this on hats that would be really cute but you could do that um or you could add like have the dark brown you could add a dark brown center and make it a big sunflower you know make big petals like this make it a big sunflower but yeah if you you know just go crazy on your hats this honestly Make one of a kind hats. Like I said, the sky's the limit. Look at how cute that would be on a hat. Okay, that's, I need it on a different color though. Let's look at it on the gray. You know, you could, you could just have fun with that. Just have fun. So it would be really cute on the teal one too, you know, before you, before I did all the others, that would be really, really cute on the teal too. So have fun with it. Look at what you have, you know, find the fabrics. Both of these fabrics I had, this fabric was a fabric last week that I got at St. Vinny's that I fell in love with. I threw it in the washer and dryer and I knew I wanted to do something with it and um, something with flowers. And then this I've had here, you know, probably a year or two, honestly. Find something you have, cut it out, and make it really, really cute. So, so yeah, so many ideas you can do. So, all right, I'm going to hop off. And you can see I'm getting hot, hot here. And I'm not complaining. I love this warm weather. I just need to open up everything a little bit more to get some, get some air through. So let's do a random act of kindness drawing. God, Susan Fainer, F-E-H-N-E-R. Private message me your mailing address and I'll get you happy mail. Please do a random act of kindness for someone. So, all right. Thank you, Kathy. You also, yes, everybody have a great day, a blessed day. Like I said, we have beautiful weather. I'm looking forward to watching a baseball game in gorgeous weather instead of the snowy, sleety weather. So, um, thank you, Tina. So I may just decide to start designing some hats and putting them in my Etsy shop. Anybody want hats in my Etsy shop? Y'all can make your own now. I showed you how. 
So anyhow, okay, I'm going to hop off. And I hope you all have a fabulous day. And um, we'll see you soon.